Living in China, investing in the U.S. Casp LLC, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, I'm James Wise, and uh, we're working with uh, a company called Casp LLC. Now these folks, uh, the principals of this company, they uh, they have several properties with Holton Wise right now, and uh, you guys recently just took advantage of a four pack, and you're looking to grow your portfolio a little bit. Uh, you guys, you know, you got other businesses uh, going on, and you're both, uh, you know, in the China U.S. Uh, dealings, right? One of you guys is living abroad, the other one is living here in the U.S., and you guys have done well done well in your businesses, uh, in your dealings with China, and you have a decent chunk of money that you guys would like to uh, inject into your real estate business that you have out here with us in Cleveland, and we're going to grow it. What you guys have to work with right now, we're trying to utilize, we're trying to put $275,000 in play. And what we're going to do is we're not necessarily looking for burrs. Uh, what you got, you're not trying to do like a ton of work, but what you want to do is utilize the fact that you're cash buyers to extract some value, right? We can come aggressive, right? We could bid aggressive to, to properties that have been on the market because we're no nonsense. We're no nonsense investors. Hey, cash, don't have to worry about an appraisal. Don't have to worry about it passing appraisal. Don't have to worry about underwriting, all that jazz people see those cash offers they get excited and i think we could get some value out of this uh first property right 907 arden avenue painesville 44077 now i targeted this one for a couple reasons number one it's been on the market a long time 209 days so in my opinion this is the type of property that is primed for us to come in using your strategy, your strategy of, hey, we got cash. We're easy to deal with. Let's get the deal done. We're seasoned investors. This is not our first rodeo. We're no nonsense, right? So we could kind of try to lowball them. I think it'll work. And then uh, the second reason I picked it is the location, right? This is located in Lake County, you know, just right on Lake Erie. It's a little east. Uh, some of the other properties you guys have are in Euclid. So we're a little east of Euclid. Euclid's in Cuyahoga County. This is the county next to that, one county over. One thing uh, to clarify about this county, right? We got a pro and we got a con. The, the pro is the taxes are lower. They're a lot lower. You're going to find way lower tax rates in Painesville and other Lake County properties that you will in Cuyahoga County, specifically Euclid. Euclid is one of the highest tax municipalities in our market. Painesville, one of the lowest. Uh, but there is one slight negative, the negative being it's pretty far from our home base here at Holton Wise. So we have to charge a surcharge when we go out to the property. We do not charge additional property management fees or anything of that nature. Everything else is the same. But there's an additional small surcharge every time I got to get a body on site, right? When we put a tent in there, that's not too often. So the tax benefits are, are going to well outweigh any accumulation of uh, surcharges due to the distance. And uh, this neighborhood, man, it's just nice. It's a it's a nice low risk neighborhood. I'd probably put it at about a B. See the thing with Painesville is you got like little B houses like this, but you also have areas where there's like wealthy wealthy folks living, like four or five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar houses, things of that nature. So it's a nice low risk community. When you guys were uh, explaining to me what you wanted to do with this round of properties you had mentioned to me that you know you guys want to take pride of ownership you guys have always been that way with your portfolio here uh in your other properties with us you guys have always been the guys that are like you know you get some investors let's be honest you get some investors that want to him and haw about fixing every single little thing and they want to try to you know take take the cheap way out and not fix things for their tenants and that just creates more problems you guys are the opposite you guys know if you provide the tenants with a quality product you're going to make money on the back 
back end with length of stay and, uh, you know, just no nonsense, things of that nature. And another thing you wanted is you wanted a nice neighborhood with a nice house you could be proud of. Perhaps if a family member ever needed to live there or something, they wouldn't be embarrassed to live in the home. So that's why I targeted this for you. I thought it would work out good. Let's just take a look at the photos here, right? Now, we got to do a little bit of work, not much. I know you guys don't want to do like a ton of work, but we do have to do a little bit, and that's how we're going to get that value, right? Just a nice little bungalow, nice little yard, right? We're just going to be looking at, you know, minor cosmetic stuff, like stuff that uh, some people might not notice. Like, look at the countertop, right? You see that on the corner, right? So that that's no good, right? So we're going to need to upgrade this a little bit. You know, just get some nice cosmetic stuff. Like, we got, you know, fairly decent looking floors, but we got multiple colors. You know, we're going to go through, you know, minor, moderate stuff, right? Just cosmetically freshen this sucker up. After we freshen her up, we should be able to rent it for $1,000 a month. So, 1000 bucks a month is going to come in. That's 12 Gs a year. Of the 1000 that comes in, you know... I'm anticipating a monthly average expense of 536, so that should bring an NOI of 464 or $5,568 a year on average. Now, you guys, you guys are not new, right? Again, not your first rider, you guys are not new to the game, so you know that's a monthly average. You guys know the deal, right? You're going to see a lot of zeros for your renovation and your maintenance costs and then boom, you get a turnover, you got to spend some money. As far as what we need to do, like, what's the plan here? Well, 67 k How do we go from it's listed right now, 209 days on the market for 67 k to you guys bringing in 1000 bucks a month after a cosmetic reno? How do we get there? Well, I would like to use your cash, and I would like to come in strong. I think we come in low, start in the low 50s with the goal of trying to close this sucker out at 55 G's cash. And then I want to put 15 into this property, right? Cosmetic stuff. Obviously, we're repainting everything. You know, from the photos, the floors look like they're in decent condition, but it's hard to tell just from the photos. But I think $15,000 will more than cover us for any cosmetic reno that involves that kitchen and that bath looking nice enough to get us a solid, low-risk tenant paying a thousand bucks a month right so if we spend 55 to acquire it 15 to renovate it you dudes will be all in for 70 g's okay and here's the cool thing after you guys are all in for 70 grand you know then you're going to want to do the refinance so you know i know you're not like trying to target burrs you're not trying to do extreme renovations but I, I think we'll probably get rewarded for our work a little bit get rewarded by providing a, a nicer home to the market number one number two i think we got a pretty good price on the acquisition coming in there uh, by picking it up cash and since they've been on the market for a long time so i think we'll probably get it to appraise for 75. if it appraises for 75 man the bank will loan you guys back 56. so you end up with only about 13 14 g's into the deal we're we're hovering right around a 20% return on your investment, and it's just going to be a solid, stable property in a stable neighborhood. You know, no major headaches, nothing like that. You guys are successful in your other business, right? That's where you earn a lot of your revenue. You're just looking for low-key, low-risk, stable investments that you could be proud of, and I think this one will be perfect. Now, we got to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then we'll get you guys into the second property I think could work for you. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RedTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, folks, welcome back. Now, the next one, I already got it on the screen for you guys. 6108 Gateway Boulevard, Elyria. Same situation as the last property. Just like a nice little uh, area, you know, on the far the far sides of Cuyahoga County. So the other one, we we're on the county touching it on the east side. That was Painesville. This one is touching it on the west side. This is Elyria. It's in Lorraine County. So same thing, supply. Lower tax rate, but we do have that surcharge. And I actually looked into this property previously for another client unfortunately uh, he was unable to to get the financing to go through to take this one down so what I'd like to do now is show you guys uh, the analysis I did for him yes 6108 Gateway Boulevard Elyria 44035 another solid c-class neighborhood dude 40 g's is what they're asking and this one just hit the market man about three weeks ago and this one is nice dude little two bed one bather and uh this is a nice house right in my opinion totally different than uh what we're dealing with right the other one i thought was kind of crummy and run down this one doesn't knock my socks off, but like it, it, it's 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 doable, it's workable. At one point, this was already Section Eight approved. Last time they had a tenant in there, you know, I don't think we really need to do much. It's not like exceptional. Again, not knocking my socks off, but it appears to to get her done right. It is workable. Just cruising through these again. There's not that many, right? Like this kitchen, not the greatest kitchen in the world, but like you know, dude, it could work. It can attract some Section Eight tenants, right? We're working with a relatively low budget out of you right so that's the other cool thing about this 10 property package dude you know after you review this video maybe we make a move on one of these two properties right and that you don't have to use those other eight properties anytime soon what you need to do then is pick up one of these properties and then continue to save money it might take you a year it might take you two years it might take you three or four years to get enough money to do the next deal but that's okay man you don't have to do this all at once it takes time to develop your real estate portfolio myself i've been investing in real estate for over 10 years i started when i was a young cat i was 21 and dude i was in the same boat as you brother i don't even know if i had 10k in cash in my my pocket i didn't as a matter of fact i i could almost guarantee i didn't have anywhere near that much money dude i was managing a radio shack making like 30 grand a year right so i don't want you to get discouraged because you have a small budget right that's what's great about real estate can take guys like you guys like me that don't have a lot of money and it can allow you to climb that property ladder and get into different income brackets man uh so that's you know that's what we're gonna do right we're gonna try to get you one get you started but dude no pressure. We don't have to worry about the mother eight, man. Let's pause. Now, if you don't like either of these deals and you want to shift gears, let's work on that. But don't think when you get the 10 property package that I'm trying to get you to get 10 properties today. No, 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 no. We got to start your portfolio. And depending on the amount of capital you guys have and the goals you have, man, that's going to determine the speed in which we continue to build this thing, right? It's a long-term game, dude. You know, real estate works great. When you're in this for the long run, I'm talking 30, 40 year careers, right? So all that said though, nice little property. I think we got to come in pretty hot. Like we can't try to lowball them like the last property, right? For there, we had reasons we could, you know, justify a lowball. Here, I think we got to come in close, right? I'm hoping I can get this thing picked up for you at 37. Now, two bed, one bath, looks pretty decent. We may have to spend a couple bucks uh, getting it totally Section 8 compliant. But when we do, I believe we'll be able to get a tenant in there at 850, right? We're dealing with a couple things to keep the rent a little bit low. Number one, we're only going to be able to get tenants with two bedroom vouchers. Number two, again, the property doesn't knock my socks off. Is it unusable? No. Is it what I'd consider a premium upgraded kitchen? No. But it it's doable, right? It's doable for what we have. It's a good starting point. So 850 comes in and estimate of 421 goes out leaving us with an noi of 429 on average brother that's an average if you watch my shows i talk about this at length guys it ain't gonna look like this every month man this is an average right we got to deal with people here unlimited amount of variables when you're dealing with people but if it all pencils out how i'm anticipating our performance dude 
Again, you pick it up at 37. We rent it at a a 50. That's about a 14 cap. We're still gonna be under that 10k mark on your down payment, and that would pencil out to be an approximately 40% uh, ROI if we get that tenant in there at 850. Now, again, though, I want to stress this to you, bro. I'm anticipating, like on this chart, I didn't put any money for repairs to get this Section 8 approved, which is what I think we want to do. We may need to do some repairs, so you may need to, you know, dig deep and, you know, find another thousand or two thousand dollars to to totally get us ready to go, totally get us over the finish line. But we're very, very close to your numbers here. And you know, my goal of picking it up at 37—that's my goal. Like, if you had to pay 40, I don't think that's a problem. Truth be told, if I was going to pick one of these two properties, I would probably pick this one. I happen to like this one better. I think it's a nicer house. Uh, but the other one does kind of fall in line with. Your your ultimate goal of eventually doing a burr but you know just know like we got a, a current tenant in there who's living in you know rough looking conditions so they may be a rough tenant i'm not sure number one number two you know that house we're talking capex stuff we're thinking about capex the house looks like it's been through a, like a war compared to this particular one i think both of them have their benefits though like for instance the comps on the Cleveland house, that neighborhood's going to have higher prices than this particular neighborhood. Um, so, you know, no deal is perfect, man. Every deal is going to have its pros and its cons. So, Durham, man, let us know your thoughts on this video. Let us know if I'm uh, correcting my assumptions. Maybe I'm off base on some things. That's fine. Let me know, and then we'll figure out a plan of attack going forward. What do you guys think? Let me know. In addition, right, with what I was thinking we could do with him, I think we could probably go to these sellers and maybe since you guys have cash, let's go ahead and try to make an offer. Let's try to target it three to five thousand dollars even cheaper than with my previous client, right? Since we got cash, we're getting aggressive. Let's try, you know, to, to utilize that cash uh, for our benefit to try to score even better deals. Um, so that's my thoughts on uh, starting off this round of investing. I think both these properties will work pretty good for you guys. Let me know if I'm barking up the right tree. If not, on the next video, we could shift gears a little bit. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, because uh, it's been a little while since you guys had acquired any new properties. Uh, just so you guys know, I don't know how focused you've been on staying updated with the market but since the last time you guys did a round of investing the prices have increased so if you're seeing an increase in prices uh if it's a little bit of a different ball game than when you guys did your last round of investing know that that is pretty much the whole market right pretty much all properties in the northeast ohio area they've all kind of incrementally increased a little bit so we're definitely uh in today's market gonna pay a little bit more than we would have when you guys did your last round of investing. So I just want to make sure that is clear to you guys. And uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys want to do. Everybody else, if you guys go to HoltonWise.com and you click the property search and analysis show, that's going to give you a link uh, to go ahead and order packages to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one, like I'm working with these folks. And in addition, we have another show called The Investment Properties for Sale Show. You could check that out, subscribe on the mailing list, and we'll email you a property for sale every day at 1 o'clock. It's going to have a video tour and everything. But that's just our whole inventory, everything we're selling, right? So it's not catered to you. If you're looking for something that's catered to you and you want to go back and forth and have these personalized videos with personalized properties, properties and have someone focusing on what your specific needs are this is where you want to be the mls search analysis show we got a bunch of packages we're running sales obviously the more properties the larger the package the more discounted the rates are for two reasons one i mean that's just you know how sales work and two I, I, I want to incentivize you guys to get the bigger packages because it's important that we do a lot of properties together because when we're trying to extract this value, we're trying to put out these low offers, people are not just going to line up to take our low offers, right? Like on the, on the first property today, I want to pick it up for these guys at 55. Well, the seller wants to sell it for 67. So yeah, man, if we want to pay 67, there's going to be a line of sellers that are willing to sell that for 67. But I want to get it for, for my clients for 55. I want to get it below market value. So when we do that, 
There's a lot of work that needs to go into it, and there's going to be a lot of uh, you know b you know plates in the air, right? We're not going to close every deal. We're gonna you know it's a numbers game. We're going to put out a lot of offers, negotiate with a lot of sellers to get some deals, right? That's just the nature of real estate. You guys may have heard a term: you got to make an offer on a hundred houses before you close your first deal. <laughs> I, I think that's a little extreme. I don't know. I don't necessarily think you need to go that far, but just note, guys, that there's a lot of work, and not every deal is going to come to fruition fruition so the bigger the package uh the better we can build your business right this is a long-term game this ain't just uh you watch the show today and then tomorrow your your portfolio is just full steam ahead right it's going to take some time so i need you to commit long term to my team and then my team will commit long-term resources to you so that's why that's why we do the sales on the big packages that's all i've got for today though folks as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at DiscountPropertyWarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.